Hello guys, let's take a look at some examples on how to figure out the state of a matter if we know the melting and the boiling points. So first we have ethanol here which melts at negative 114 degrees Celsius and it boils at 78 degrees Celsius at a constant 1 atm pressure. What state of matter must a sample of ethanol be at negative 20 degrees Celsius and 1 atm pressure. So basically the pressure is constant in this whole process, so we are changing the temperature. And I like to visualize these processes using a helpful graph. So I'm going to have the temperature right here in degrees Celsius. I know that ethanol melts at minus 100 and 14 degrees Celsius. So this means that below this temperature, I'm always going to have a solid and it boils at 78 degrees Celsius. So between minus 114 and 78, I'm going to have a liquid and above 78 degrees Celsius, I'm going to have a gas. Now, where does minus 20 degrees Celsius land? Well, zero degrees is probably somewhere right here. So minus 20 should be probably somewhere here, which means that at this temperature, I'm going to have a liquid. I hope this makes sense. It's pretty simple, right? Let's take a look at another example. We have dimethyl ether, which melts at minus 141 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to do the same graph where I have the temperature right here and minus 141 degrees Celsius is the melting point. So below this, I'm going to have a solid. Above this, I'm going to have a liquid. It boils at minus 24 degrees Celsius. And I have to figure out the state of matter at 263 Kelvin. So the pressure is always 1 atm. Now I have to convert the Kelvin temperature into Celsius. Remember that the difference between Kelvin and Celsius temperatures is 273. So I take 263 minus 273 and I'm going to get minus 10 degrees Celsius. So where does minus 10 degrees Celsius land in my graph? Well, it's actually going to be above minus 24 degrees Celsius, right? And because minus 24 is my boiling point, I'm going to have a gas right here. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.